one of the things I thought was really interesting was the day I was lucky to be a part of was you were like, this is all about the staff. This is all about the staff. So can you talk a little bit about like what that day was and why it matters so much? Cause I know this wasn't our first time for you. This is something that you've done yeah. over the years. Absolutely. So it's, we call it our staff wellness day. We take one PD out of the year and it's hard to do because you only have so many, yeah. um, but we've made it sacred. Um, I started it when I was a curriculum supervisor, kind of went out on a limb, asked my superintendent who was super supportive and said, sure, tell me what it's going to look like and what you want to do. Right. We had come to this point in time where all we did was talk about self-care. Oh, educators are burnout. Well, they need to do self-care. Oh, they need to take time right. for themselves. They need to do this. And I'm like, well, what does that mean? Like, I, you can keep telling me self-care, self-care. Like, I don't know what that looks like. Um, I think I'm taking care of myself. I'm not really sure. Right. So I just said, like, what if we just do a day that's all about educators? And we started with like a staff meeting in the morning to try and get in the PD that we needed to get in. And then we asked the community and we have a very supportive community like, hey, can you help us out? So we had yoga instructors, we had nutritionists, we have yeah. healthy cooking. Um, we just let them walk. We gave them an hour. We called it deer. Just what we do with the students drop everything and read. Right. Yeah. We did that when we were young um, and we just let them sign up and had the whole day where. Yeah, we took the whole afternoon and you guys get to pick what you want to do. And if you do it, if you're not planning anything, you're not doing anything, you're literally just showing up. They don't have to pay for anything. Um, everyone's pretty much volunteer based or the district covers yeah. the cost of whatever they need. And the staff reviews were like through the roof. Like everyone right. loved it. They really appreciate it. Thank you so much. We got a lot of staff that just said, we're so happy that we got to do this. Even just spending time with a coworker laughing right. about right them doing push-ups next to me, whatever it may be. So that has since evolved and we started bringing in like speakers. Um, so we really try and like hit a home run, which we did this year with bringing in a speaker that really talks to teachers about, not about what they need to do, but right. how, what they're doing already and how they can kind of fine tune their craft. So, and then me. we also- That was me. <laughs> that was you. Yeah, that was you. George came and knocked it out of the park this year. Yeah. Um, we provide a healthy I was snack. like, are you talking about someone else? <laughs> nope. Talking about me as a third person. Like two years ago, we had a, we two years ago we had a comedian and they love that too. But I mean you provided plenty of laughs yeah, throughout. Pretty funny. There wasn't I, I always jokes. look Yeah. Whenever we have a speaker, I always look around to see like the vibe in the room because I'm always just like, all right, well, if everyone's yeah. on their phone, um, and even you who said, like, I'm not afraid if you're on your phones, go ahead, like scan this. I want you to tweet about me. Sure. I mean, people were like eye to eye engaged coming up to you after and when you start the day with that kind of energy, it lasts all day. So after they left you, they had a little healthy snack from a local um, business and went about, we had pickleball, we had pit classes, we had oh. cookie decorating, the whole nine. Okay. Um, so I gotta, I gotta ask you this question. So I don't yeah. know how long you've like, I don't know how long you know me, but probably the last, I don't know, four years, I've been very focused on being healthier, like way healthier. Mm -hmm. And I've like, I've always worked out but it's like, I've got my eating in check. Now I'm not like a hundred percent. I'm not like keto or anything like this, but I eat pretty healthy. And you kept saying, I don't know if you noticed, you're like, Hey, there's a healthy snack. There's a healthy snack. And I go into districts all the time and there's pretty rarely healthy snacks. Like it is like pretty bad. And I, I don't know if that's like, why is that so intent? Like, why was that so intentional? And I, I actually think it, you know, I, there's like a, a Seinfeld episode where Elaine, I know I'm like obsessed with Seinfeld right now. There's a Seinfeld episode where Elaine complains because every day it's a cake. There's always cake, right? She's like sick of cake. And then she's like out of cake, you know, like she's out of it. And then she, then she's going through like sugar withdrawals and she's struggling with that too. And I actually think it's kind of intentional or, you know, like we kind of become what, we, you know, I know it's like, we are what we eat, but like that, that kind of focus when we talk about self-care, um, you know, it's like, it's okay to treat yourself, but I think, you know, if you're treating yourself all the time, which I used to do, um, that can get you in trouble. So like, I, I look, when I think of self-care, I think of like working out, trying to, you know, eat healthier or stuff like that too. Why was that so intentional? And maybe I shouldn't even be asking this too, but I, I think it is, yeah. I thought it was like really interesting when you, uh, you're like, Hey, we got healthy snacks. You got healthy snacks. And I thought that was really powerful. Yeah. So it's a celebration day. Right. And, yeah. and Elaine's right in Seinfeld when there's a celebration, especially I feel like at a school or a place of work, like somebody's bringing cake or somebody's bringing yeah. cupcakes. Like my door every day is open and I can't tell you the number of kids that come through and they're like, it's my birthday. Here's a cupcake. Do you want one? And I always say, yes, 
I don't always eat it, but I always say yes because I want them to feel that I va right. value their birthday. Um, but on Wellness Day, I want the staff to know like the district is providing you a snack that is good for you today to fuel your body because I feel like if we put it out there, it'll be like, all right, cool, it's a celebration. Like, let's bring in a cake. And it's like, nope, we're going to celebrate you and we're going to have an acai bowl, which right. some people might argue that that's not the healthiest thing. But we've had like, energy bites in the past or a veggie tray or something like that. Um, this year was the first time we did the acai bowl, trying to do something cool that people really do enjoy, yeah. even if it is a little treat, but it's good for you. Um, but we wanted to fuel them. We wanted to let them know we appreciate you we, without just doing like a, a cookie. Like if you give yeah. a teacher a cookie type of thing um, and it's something that they look forward to. And I feel like we're always trying to feed them um, to show them we appreciate them. And this was just a different way to do it. Well, okay. So I, this, this is my trick for anyone, you know, this was my trick. You have to, if you're like trying to get your, cause when you eat, like, I love cookies, cookies are my weakness mm -hmm. and they always taste good when I have them, but I always feel worse after. Right. Yeah. And so my trick when I eat healthy is not to like, just eat healthy foods cause they're healthy, but eat foods that I love that happen to be healthy. 